Last sasa kind ya maswali ya projector ni projector ambazo zina involve collision. Sawa tumeshasoma kwenye Newton's laws of motion coefficient of restitution. Sawa tumeshasoma coefficient of restitution. Kwa hiyo tunaweza tukaweka sub projector sometimes na involve kwenda ika hit a place. Kwa hiyo naweza kaenda kikadunda pale. Kwa hiyo tunatumia hizo principles kama hizo. Kwa mfano, tunaweza tukawa na ukuta na mpira tumerusha umedunda afu umerudi tena. Kwa tuna projector mbili at once. Projector ya kwanza iliyoenda ika hit kwenye ukuta, projector ya pili ika hit na kutoka. So hapa kuna principle of collision tunaweza tukakuuliza kwa kutumia coefficient of restitution. Ili katika condition za mwanzo za projector utatumia coefficient of restitution kutafutia velocity itakayotoka nayo ambayo ndio itakuwa initial ya hiyo second projector. Don't worry. Sawa so, na ku brief tu kwanza. Kwa mfano Tumepewa hili swali. A ball is thrown towards a vertical wall from a point 2 meters above. Sawa. So, kuna point 2 meters, a ball na kuwa thrown ya kwenye height ya 2 meters. Kwenye towards the wall. The, the distance from the point of projection pa kwenye wall ni 3 meters. Sawa. So, the initial velocity of the ball is 20 meters per second. So initial velocity of the ball in 20 meters per second kwenye angle ya 30 degrees above the horizontal. If the collision of the ball with the wall is perfectly elastic. So collision ya ball na wall ni perfectly elastic. It means E is equal to 1. So E is equal to 1. That is what it means. Kwa mba value coefficient of restitution is 1. It means final velocity. Sorry. Final velocity. Kwa sababu sinasema v1 minus v2 is equal to u2 u2 minus u1 so it means this is equal to that what is final is what is the initial so there is no change in velocity ndo manaki hapo wakisema perfectly elastic so so how far behind the thrower does the ball hit the ground? So swali kimsingi lipo kwenye ile projector ya pili baada ya kuhit. Projector ya kwanza ni kutoka hapo ikaenda ika hit the wall. Projector ya pili ni kutoka kwenye wall kuja baada ya kudunda sana toka na velocity flani na kutengeneza hiyo projector. So utafute how far behind the thrower mpira uta, uta fall. So this distance x up utafute. Sawa. So, mm -hmm. So the principle ni rahisi tu utafanya projector ya kwanza ili upate velocity ambayo itakuja nayo just before hitting the wall. Sawa? So, kwa sababu the issue the trick hapa ni kutafuta velocity itakao toka nayo katika second projector. Yenyewe ndio utaita ndio ndio utatakiwa itafuta. Ukipata hiyo tunatumia second projector kutafuta distance x then tutatoa 3 tutajua behind the thrower distance takwa kiasi gani. Basi mtego wao uko hapo tu kama utaweza kupata velocity ambayo itaanza kwenye second projector sawa na hiyo second tutaipata kwa kutumia coefficient of restitution tuliopewa na kutumia velocity just before hitting the wall sawa so, it means principle utakao tumia hapa ni kutafuta velocity ya projector at time t kama unakumbuka mwanzo kule kuna formula ya kutafuta velocity of projector at time t ambayo inakuwa given by kama nilivyosema square league formula na kalili zinapoanzia squared plus vx squared I believe you unakumbuka vizuri kabisa, ndio? Eh. <laughs> so we know kama unakumbuka from v is equal to u plus 80. If the initial velocity vertically was v not sin theta inakuwa minus g t squared plus vx ya mboni v0 cos ya theta squared kukalkulate ya po tutapata our value ya velocity after time t from the moment imekua projected paka the moment imeenda kuhit the wall so what is happening ya po ni kwamba we are having initial velocity ambao ni 20 the angle ambao ni 30 g tunayo lakini time hatuna sawa 
time hatuna kwa hiyo tupasa kutafuta time ya kutoka hapo mpaka kufika kwenye wall hiyo time tutaipata wapi tutaipata kwa sababu tuna hii distance so kama kawaida the first thing ambayo tulikuwa tufanye anyway ilikuwa ni kuandika zile equation zetu so, kwamba v not sin theta times time minus kwa sababu projection na g zinatofautiana t squared divided by 2 well x ni sawa sana v not cos theta times time okay yes so if we are interested in kwenye kutafuta time sawa so hii so, equation inaweza katupa time yaani umeona raha maswali ya project a so, ukijiandikia tu equation zako hizi hapa yani provided you are writing the right thing solution inajileta yenyewe kwa hiyo kwa hiyo our interest ni kutafuta time tuweza tukapata time kwenye hii equation kwa sababu tuna x kwa hiyo hata, hata kama okay usioff kwa sababu sasa amejuaje hii equation na mimi natumia nitumie time najua hilo ndio ni challenge kwa unaweza ukaendelea kama tulivyo kwa tunafanya ingiza data ya hivyo ulivyo navyo kwamba y tukisema tuandike y ni 2 sawa displacement ni 2 kumbuka tutakao tunatafuta time ya mpaka chini unakumbuka tulivyo kwa tunafanya nyuma pale tulipokuwa tunaandika 2 tulikuwa tunaiku pale tunapouliza wa time ya mpaka chini sawa kwa andika tu yache y kama y sawa so, unless ujue unatafuta y ipi ndio ungeandika so we know v not v not ni 20 sawa so, sin ni 30 times time minus 9.8 divided by 24.9 t squared okay yes kwa x the same x ni 3 muone 20 cos ya 30 times time automatically automatically 3 utaona hapa kabisa unayo unayo the only thing ambayo ina miss hapa ni time from here you can get time time ya ku travel 3 meters ambayo ndo time ya kutoka hapo mpaka kufika hapo ambayo hii time tukiitumia tukaweka hapo ndo tutapata tutakuwa tuna zote sasa hapa tutakuwa na v not tutakuwa na sin theta tuna g na time na v not na cos theta squared tutakuwa nao cos theta actually this was supposed to be cos theta okay, this is cos theta squared so tukiweka hizo values hapo tutapata v at time t it means v ambayo baada hiyo time v itakokuwa imefika nao kwenye wall hapo ambao tukicalculate tunapata hii hapa sawa uh, 19.1 ukikalculate hapo you should get 19.1 hapa yalichofanya ni amezunguka njia yake lakini mimi nimekufundisha hii ndio rais sawa so, na inaeleweka of course yalichofanya hapa ni sahihi sawa so, alichofanya pia ni sahihi kwamba amejaribu kutafuta vy peke yake at that point vy itakuwa nini na horizontal itakuwa nini it's it, it, sio mbaya sawa so, sio mbaya lakini fanya hivi ambavyo nimekuambia easier sawa kwa vile unaandika tu equation zako solution inajileta kama tulivyosema sasa kwa vile tuna velocity of projection ya 19.21 sawa tuna velocity of projection ya 19.21 sawa tuko tunajua velocity ambayo itatoka nayo velocity ya projection sawa ni 19. Point kwa sababu ni perfectly elastic so tukitumia ile formula v2 minus v1 over u1 minus u2 ni sawa na 1 but tunaangalia vitu viwili ni ball na wall the wall is stationary so kama wall ni 1 hizi value za 1 zote zita cancel zitakuwa zina kazi sawa so, ni kama v over u ni sawa na 1 sawa so, kwa it means initial velocity na final is the same for the ball sawa so, kwa kama projection velocity at, at the moment kabla ya hit wall ilikuwa 19.2 it means it live with the new projectile or new velocity of projection 19.21 meters per second okay so tumepata velocity another issue sasa ni ku tunapataje angle hiyo ni issue nyingine kwamba angle tutaipataje sawa engo tutaipataje uh, 
what we are supposed to do ni kuangalia kwamba namna gani ambapo tunaweza tukapata hii angle ni namna gani ambapo tunaweza tukapata hii angle sawa so, namna gani ambapo tunaweza tukapata hii angle lakini tunakumbuka sawa so, tunakumbuka katika ile concept najua ndio maana mimi lesson zangu nimezipanga kwa sababu kila kitu kinakuja kutumika sawa so, ukirifa mwanzo kabisa wa lessons so, mwanzo kabisa lessons kuna sehemu ambayo nilikufundisha kutafuta angle sawa so, of projectile after time t you can go back na uangalie in case umesahau uh, somewhere here hapa sawa so, you can refer hapa hii beta ndo angle ambayo nilisema the angle after time t kwa hiyo tulisema tulisema kwamba tan ya hiyo angle after time t beta ni sawa sawa na vy over vx si ndio vy over vx ambapo vx si haibadiliki vx ni constant sawa so, Vx haibadiliki ni constant. Vx haibadiliki ni constant. Kwa Vx yetu itabaki kuwa 20 cos theta. Ambao theta ni 30. Sawa, so, sababu ndio hiyo horizontu itakuwa ime hit with the wall. Kwa hivyo ni elastic collision perfectly is equal to 1. It means it live na the same horizontal velocity. Sawa? So, Yes. But horizontal velo, vertical velocity iliyokuwa kwenye inisho na iliyokuwa hapa ni tofauti. Ndio maana yangu inabadilika. Sawa. So, uh, kama time ambayo tulipata hapa. Sawa. So, Ndio time ya kutoka hapa mpaka hapa inabidi tutafute vertical velocity ambayo ilikuwa at that point hapo. So tunajua kama hapa tulivyokuwa tumefanya ndio hii hapa kwamba v after time t ni sawa sana inisho plus at. So we know the initial ilikuwa ni 20 sin ya ngapi ya 30 minus 80 ambayo ni g ni 9.8 na time na time ambayo ndio hii tulikalculate hapa time ambayo imefika kwenye wall maana ni time ya kutoka hapa mpaka time ya ku travel 3 meters ndio hii tulikuwa tumetafuta hapa times ile time hapo so, So putting in the numbers hapo utapata hii value ya tan. So beta the angle ambayo ndo angle of projection the new angle of projection itakuwa ni tan inverse ya hii value hapa. So calculating then you're going to get the answer ni ndo hicho alichokuwa anafanya hapa. Sawa so, unapata angle hiyo hapo. So you have uh, you, you have projection velocity na una angle of projection hiyo hapo. Then the question must be easy kwa sababu the issue nao ni kutafuta how far ni kama ile nauliza how far from the foot of the cliff will the ball fall us it means tunasahau kuhusu hii hapa tuna new projectile ambayo ina velocity of projection hii hapa na angle of projection 25.61 then i believe unaweza ukaendelea sawa so, unaweza ukaendelea i believe kama kawaida unaanza tu na equation zetu kama kawaida na equation zetu unaweka hapo unaweka hapo then the question should be easy for you uh, the question should be easy for you labda kwa kurahisisha wewe nikuelezee maana unaweza ukachanganya ikiwa hapo sawa so, kutoka kwenye hii equation tuna kwa sababu tunatafuta sasa uh, time I mean distance ya kutoka mpaka hapo it means height tutakao tumia ni hii height tutakao kwa ime travel ambayo height ni sawa sawa na 2 meters plus eh lakini inakuwa negative kwa sababu tunapima hiyo distance kutoka projection kushuka chini sawa so, while projection yetu ni kwenda juu kwa inakuwa negative hiyo height ya 2 plus h sawa so, ni sawa sawa na v not ambayo ni new velocity 19.21 19.21 sign ya the new angle ambayo ni 25.61 25.61 times time 
minus kwa sababu g na oppose hiyo 4.9 t squared sawa so, for x the same kwamba itaenda ita fall distance x ambayo x the total distance sasa x itakuwa ni 3 plus kwa vile tuliashume x ni distance from where itakapo ita fall mpaka mwanzo ilipo kwa projected so the total horizontal distance itakuwa ni 3 plus x kwa 3 plus x na itakuwa the total horizontal distance itakuwa ni sasa na v0 ambapo v0 ni 19.21 cos ya the new angle ambayo ni 25.61 times time unaangalia una nones ngapi una none ya kwanza ya h una none ya pili ya time unknown nyingine ya una none ya h unknown ya x na unknown ya time it means you need to form another third equation third equation inaweza tukaifanyaje tunaweza tukajaribu ku eliminate kimoja wapo hapo sawa so, lakini tukikumbuka kwamba e height tunaweza tukapata kwenye projectile ya kwanza tukirudi kwenye projectile ya kwanza e height tunaweza tukapata kumbuka hapa tulipata time time ya ku travel from projection paka kwenye paka kwenye paka kwenye wall so tukiingizia kwenye hii equation hapa tunaweza tukapata vertical distance ambayo ime travel sawa so, vertical distance ambayo itakuwa ime ime travel kwa kutumia hiyo time. Kwa hiyo kwenye hii projection projectile ya kwanza EH tunaweza tukaipata. Kama tukiingizia hapo kwamba the y ambayo ni hiyo h sawa itakuwa ni sawa sawa na v0 ambayo ni 20 20 times sin ya 30 times time ambayo time ndio hii tulishaka kukuletea hapa utaweka value hapo minus 4.9 t squared ambayo t squared ndio jibu ambao tulipata kwenye hii time mwanzo kabisa hapa na kwa tukiingiza tutapata value ya h ehh h height ambayo ime travel sawa so, after that time t kutoka hapo mpaka kwenye wall tukiingiza tutapata value ya h the height h ambayo project itakuwa ime travel mwanzo kwa tukipata hii value ya h then tutakuwa na hii value then tabaki unknown ya x na time then from there we should be able to solve x and time kama alivyo sawa hapa ingawa yeye ameamua kutumia general equation nilikwambia hamna tofauti ya kutumia general equation na kufanya hichi tunachofanya general equation ni kwamba tutakuwa ime combine tayari hizi two equations sawa so, eventually you have to find a way ya kutafuta hiyo third equation ili uweze kusolve jibu lako sawa so, umeona hapa me tafuta h kuna h bado kwa eventually lazima tutafuta tu tena h utaingizia still the same thing sawa so, hapa sawa so, unaweza ukaona eh h alitafuta kwa kutumia general trajectory equation kama unakumbuka ikumbuka hii equation sawa so, na ina ina simplify hii namna hii hichi tunachofanya sisi ni kama nilivyosema ni kuandika equation tofauti lakini hizi two equations ukizicombine ndio unapata hii hapa so kuandika hii hapa ni sawa sana na na na, na kuandika hii equation hapa lakini huwa napenda kuziseparate kwa sababu sometimes unakuta hii ina nones nyingi wa ili hii inaweza kakusi yenyewe peke yake inaweza kasolve. Kwa ukiingizia hapo unaipoteza. Kwa ni bora ukaziseparate. Lakini kama unaona mbali you can even see kwamba hapa ulikuwa una x sawa. Angle ulikuwa nayo 30, x ulikuwa nayo g, u ulikuwa nayo angle. So from here ungeweza kupata y au h kila hisi. Lakini it's still the same thing kama tulichofanya. Kutafuta time kwanza na kuingizia because it's as if to make combine ya kwa namna tofauti. Cha muhimu nielewe zile concept za muhimu za jinsi kufanya maswali, sawa? Mfano mwingine ni huo ambao sio sio haya maswali sio common sana lakini nakufundisha just in case. You never know next unaweza kutoa nini, sawa? Na tuna projectile imekuwa projectile at an angle ya I mean height ya 4 meters. Imeenda, ime fall, imekuja, ime hit au ime ondoka. So you have 0.5 kg ball is ejected from the tube at A with horizontal velocity ya VA is equal to 2 meters. Kwa ni horizontal projectile ya kawaida rahisi tu. The coefficient of restitution at B is 0.6. Find the horizontal distance R where the ball strikes the smooth inclined plane and the speed at which it bounces from the from the plane. Kwa haina shida sana kwa sababu ukiondoa mbali na hii ni kama tu yale maswali ya kawaida find the the distance 
from the foot of the cliff ni sawa na yale maswali ya cliff sawa hii ndio inakuwa foot ya cliff utafute sawa so you can refer mfano ule ambao tulifanya kama foot of the cliff ndio unafanya kawaida hapa sawa ndio unafanya kawaida hapa so you are supposed to solve na kupata value ya r uh, ni 2.06 meters okay hiyo 6 meters sasa kwa vile swali linatutaka hara najua haina shida sawa so, hara haina shida ni kama tu kwenye cliff yale maswali ya kwenye cliff au kama ni, ni maswali ya kwenye ndege kule ambapo tume solve maswa mifano so the issue ni swala pili the speed at which it bounces from the plane kwa sababu lazima ujue velocity kwanza with which ilikuwa inakuja ku hit ili ujue velocity ambayo ita bounce nayo sawa so, it means unatumia formula ile ya velocity at after time t ambao kama kawaida ni v y squared plus v x squared. I believe sasa hivi tutakuwa unafahamu tumeshafanya mara nyingi. So ukitumia hii equation you are supposed to get the velocity after time t. Okay? Velocity after time t. Uh, na ni rahisi zaidi kwa horizontal kwa sababu ukiangalia hapo ni v not sin theta minus gt unakumbuka hii kutoka kwenye v is equal to u plus at squared plus e haibadilikaji horizontal velocity cos theta squared so lakini angle ni 0 so hii component inakuwa imeisha hapa itabaki gt peke yake squared na hii cos 0 ni 1 kwa hapa itabaki v initial 2 peke yake kwa ni rahisi sana utapata velocity after after time t Okay. Ambayo hiyo time utabidi ukaikalculate sasa huko. Utabidi utafute time ya ku fall mpaka chini ambayo I believe ni rahisi. Tumeshafanya hiyo mifano. Wewe kumbushia tu kule. Sawa, so, ukipata hiyo time unaweka unapata hiyo velocity hapo. Sawa. So, mhm. Mm Kwa tukishapata velocity with which ilikuwa inakuja nayo, then tunaweza tukatafuta velocity with which ilikuwa ina ondoka nayo. Kwa hiyo ukiangalia hili swali ni kama oblique collisions. Nimefundisha vizuri sana kwenye Newton's laws of motion oblique collisions zinavyokuwa. Sawa, so, kwa sitapenda kurudia, nitakuomba upitie lesson yangu ya Newton's laws of motion kwenye pati ambapo nimefundisha kuhusu oblique collisions. Nitakuonyesha tu oblique collision hapa ikoje. Sawa. So, E, kama ni oblique collision inamaanisha inabidi tutafute na angle kwamba inavyo hit ilikuwa ina hit kwenye angle gani so we know tan tan ya beta ni vitu ambavyo unafahamu ni marudio tunafanya tu e, tan ya beta ni sawa sana vy over v vx so we know vy ni sawa sana v not sin theta minus g t vx ni v not cos theta so hii inakufa kwa sababu the angle is zero na hapa inabaki 1 so ni kwa ni gt negative over v not e 9.8 time ndio kwambia calculate v not ninaweza nikapata na angle so calculate angle unakuja kupata the angle is 78.8 degrees okay yes So hii ni oblique collisions namna gani? Kwa sababu the ball is coming with at an angle flani theta. So then we have a wall ambayo ikija ita hit na itatoka at a certain angle theta. Okay? Yeah, kwa ni kama collision kwamba one body is stationary, another body is coming at an angle of e 78.8 degrees 78.8 degrees so the angle being 78.8 unafanya kawaida huyu amefanya angle 48.8 kwa njia anaojua yeye leo tumia lakini ukitumia ile principle ambayo nimekufundisha ya kwenye Uh, oblique collisions kule kwenye Newton's laws of motion then you should be able to solve and get the answer uh, you should get the kwa sababu hapa unatafuta horizontal peke yake vertical peke yake unazicombine utakuja kupata the resultant ambayo itakuwa ina live so 
Nicho taka tu ni upate concept ya hapa So these questions are not common anyway Lakini si mbaya Naeza tani mtu waka kuuliza siku Kwa sababu si dhambi Imanish kwa mbali taulizo It can be at Nataka we competent So Yeah So kwenye hii pati ya pili ya impact Na kushauri uka pitie lesson yangu Ya Newton's laws of motion Nimefundisha vizuri Kwenye pati inayo usu oblique collision Inavu kuwa applied ni kama ilivo Tunika hapa So I have a question for you here you can try Kama ukisha pitia oblique collisions yuko kama pata mda you can pass through Ingawa as I said it's not very important to wa hawa ulizi sana sana Nime kukonvertia kwa sababu wapa maendika fit Nime kukonvertia kwenye meters Fit kwenye meters So otherwise you can solve the question Kwa concept ambao nime kupa You can try it out So Mm-hmm